Howdy kids, it's me, Bob Harris from Football Diehards. We're here for the Saturday Injury Update Overview, Review, Preview, and uh, Get You Up to Speed View thing. And uh, we'll start out, as always, we'll go through the games in chronological order to give you a little idea of how you need to set up your options or if you have issues in the later games, that's something you need to watch, and there will be some. On the early games, Ben Roethlisberger listed as questionable for the Steelers going against the Ravens in Baltimore. Uh, sounds like he'll play, worked on a limited basis all week, and uh, barring a setback, expect him to go Landry Jones, if not, but expect Ben. D'Angelo Williams questionable as well. Uh, it's the Le'Veon Bell show, unless something happens to Bell Williams is irrelevant for fantasy purposes. The other side of the ball, Steve Smith listed as questionable. Worked on a limited basis later in the week. Uh, a little dicier than I expected coming off the bye. Something you'll have to watch. Crockett Gilmore, thigh injury, ruled out in that game. For the Kansas City Chiefs, uh, Alex Smith is out. Uh, Spencer Ware is out. Um, Jeremy Macklin listed as questionable. Nick Foles starts at quarterback, seems more willing to push the ball down the field. It'd be interesting if Macklin plays. Might work in his favor, Tyreek Hill as well. Uh, Sharkhandrick West is a big play. And by the way, Jamal Charles also out. You probably heard this as well. He's list, he's placed on IR after having uh, surgery on his knee. The Chiefs re-signed Niall Davis today, but West is the guy to watch here. Should get a heavy workload. They also have Bishop Sankey. Wouldn't expect any of them to do anything. Uh, for the Detroit Lions, Theo Riddick listed as questionable. Worked on a limited basis all week. He came back last week. Uh, Played reasonably well. Uh, it's a you know tough matchup, but maybe not so much for the receiving running back against Minnesota. So uh, watch his status in the 90 minutes leading up to kickoff. It'll be interesting to see. He was limited all week, and they seem to have uh, more faith in him than anyone else. The other side of the ball, Jarek McKinnon uh, listed as questionable. He, too, returned to practice this week. Missed last week's game with a foot injury. I would expect him to start if he's active or certainly play a great role along with Matt Asiata either way. Uh, for the Cowboys, Des Bryant listed as questionable, so is Lance Dunbar. Both of them practiced fully uh, late in the week. Uh, Bryant's going to play. It's a great matchup. Dak Prescott is course starting. Tony Romo not ready to be active yet. Uh, it'll be an interesting situation going forward. My guess is Prescott remains the quarterback until he forces them to take him out with his play on the field, and he's not there yet, right? Uh, for the Browns, other side of the ball, Cody Kessler returns at quarterback. He will start. Uh, Josh McCown will be number two. Terrell Pryor and Corey Coleman both off the injury report. Coleman returns from the broken hand. Pryor's been playing through the injured hamstring, but practiced fully on Friday and removed from the injury report. So that's good news there. Ricardo Lewis, uh, rookie wide receiver, is listed as questionable with a hamstring issue. For the Dolphins, Devontae Parker turned up as questionable on the injury report. The hamstring has apparently been an ongoing thing for him. Uh, Clyde Christensen, the offensive coordinator, suggested this week that he needed to learn how to play through pain, etc. You know, another, another kind of shot across Parker's bow. But anyhow, he's listed as questionable. You'll need to watch him. It's a great matchup. Uh, Jordan Cameron placed on IR today. Uh, the fourth concussion may be a career ender for him. Uh, Deion Sims also concussed. He was ruled out. Practice fully Thursday, then limited on a Friday. It's kind of worrisome that he took a downward trend. For the Giants, and that means Marquise Gray and Dominique Jones will continue to handle the tight end duties there for the Dolphins. Uh, for the Giants, uh, Bobby Rainey's listed as questionable. Kind of irrelevant there. We're all watching for Paul Perkins to come on a little bit with uh, Rashad Jennings still starting either way. Odell Beckham removed from the injury report late in the week uh, on Friday. We limited all week. Probably not 100%, but not on the injury report. Late afternoon games. Carlos Hyde. Listed as questionable. This one's dicey, folks. Uh, has worn the non-contact jersey in practice all week, so definitely limited. It hasn't been clear. Hadn't been cleared for contact. It's a sprained AC joint. Dewan Harris might be the guy to watch. That's who coaches are talking about. That's who got the run last game before the bye. Uh, you know, Mike Davis will get his turns. Sean Drone will get his turns. Uh, Dwan Harris is the guy I was talking about. So watch that one. Uh, Green Bay Packers. Uh, Randall Cobb is listed as questionable. He seems the... It, Mike McCarthy will, didn't sound optimistic on Friday. We'll see. Still has a couple days to get it ready. Um, and it's a great matchup. So if he's in there, you want to play him. But you'll need options in the late afternoon game. Ty Montgomery off the injury report. Great news. Expect him to get that big workload again. They uh, still have the ongoing issues at halfback. James Starks is out. Jared Cook is out. So... Uh, don't lay off Ty Montgomery in this one. Uh, and Jordy Nelson hurt early in the week with a hand, uh, limited early in the week, but he's fine off the injury report as well. Uh, Dwayne Allen on the other side of the ball, uh, listed as questionable. Doesn't sound like he's, you know, at full speed, but enough so that you'd be worried if you're playing Jack Doyle. So keep an eye on that one. Uh, for the Chargers, Terrell Williams and Travis Benjamin both have knee issues, both practice late in the week, both listed as questionable. I would expect both to play. Benjamin's workload has been diminishing a bit, maybe due to the sprain PCL he's playing through. Um, but he will be on the field. Hunter Henry will not. He's been ruled out with, uh, with a knee injury of his own. Other side of the ball, Delaney Walker uh, came up with an injured uh, groin, some, had some tightness uh, on Thursday, listed as questionable on Friday. It's a long plane trip. Walker talked about that and mentioned that, you know, it's going to be something we'll have to watch for him. 
and we will be watching. Uh, uh, check it out carefully. Same with Amari Cooper, back issue. Uh, it's a Sunday night kickoff, right? That's a big concern. It's uh, Akib Talib is out for the Broncos, so uh, you'd like to try maybe get him in there, even with a tough matchup, but you're going to have to watch, have a backup plan in place. Maybe Andre Holmes is available, you know, as a fallback. Jameez Olawale also questionable with an ankle injury. Woman less mouth defeat at the goal line. Latavius Murray owners. Monday night, LaShawn McCoy, questionable. Robert Woods, questionable. Charles Clay, questionable. Don't worry about Woods and Clay. I mean, it's not worth, there's no upside there. Uh, Rex Ryan is optimistic about McCoy. Sounds like he'll play. Also, Rex Ryan said Percy Harvin, newly signed this week, has a chance to play. So you'll need to watch for that as well. I uh, wouldn't be eager to force any of those guys except McCoy in my lineup. I'd want to have a backup plan in place. Uh, but things are trending in the right direction for him. Maybe a CJ Procise on the Seattle side of the ball is available. Maybe not. Uh, Maybe you have already have Gillsley. Either way, uh, we'll be updating all this information on the website right up through all the kickoffs. So check back for that. Uh, check out all the columns. As usual, plenty of great information for you on footballdiehards.com. Uh, that's it. Good luck this week.